Hi, my name is Faith Turner. I am an Indigenous storyteller and writer. Reading books has always been my medicine since I was a little girl. Stories took me to faraway places and taught me so much. So, I'll be here on Tuesdays with stories, art, and fun. First, let's check out this thingy. I don't know what it is. Exactly. It says it like that. Whoa. Let's see. Okay, there's a switch. And it's like a little lightsaber. Oh, see. Nope. I think you're supposed to twirl it or something. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh my god. I have no grace. <laughs> oh, here we go. Nope. Wah! <laughs> Our book for today is called, What's the Most Beautiful Thing You Know About Horses? It's a story by Richard Van Camp and the pictures were created by artist George Littlechild. Today, it's 40 below in my hometown of Fort Smith in the Northwest Territories of Canada. I used to live there with my family when I was a little girl. Yep, I lived in lots of places. <laughs> and that was one. And I remember we had to put blankets on the windows because it would stay uh, bright, like the sun would be out until midnight. <laughs> okay, where am I? It is winter and I am cold. Not even my long johns and parka can help me today. It is so cold, the ravens refuse to fly. My dog, Holmes, refused to bark. My dad's truck, which we call the Green Death, refuses to start and I can't go outside. I've been thinking about a question I want to ask you. What's the most beautiful thing you know about horses? Hmm. Can everyone at home think of that and maybe write it in the comments? I had a dream about a horse and that was a beautiful dream it was a, like a cream colored horse and it had blue chalk under its eyes and in my dream they said sun rays will help you I don't know what it means but special dream okay sorry telling another story okay <laughs> the reason I'm asking is that I'm a stranger to horses and horses are strangers to me. Let me tell you why. I am half Indian and I'm half white. The good news about all this is that I could be the cowboy or the Indian. When we used to play guns, the bad news is my family never had any horses to ride up here. All we had here were dogs. Look at this picture. He's like half cowboy and half Indian. Look, he has a moccasin on and a cowboy boot. My mom is dog rib Indian. Our people have great respect. Oh no, you can't see the picture. Can you see it? Okay. Our people have great respect for dogs. Dogs used to help us haul camp and protect food stashes when we would hunt for caribou out on the barren lands. My grandfather, Pierre Washi, used to sneak into wolf dens to gather wolf cubs so he could breed them with dogs. This way, his dog team, who were half wolf and half dog, would be deadly. <laughs> we are not horse people. If I could, I'd shake hooves with all the horse tribes. My granny taught me that handshakes are hugs for strangers. If I could speak to horses, I would ask them a few questions. Do horses have secrets? 
in winter? Do they wonder, what do the leaves do under the snow all day? Do horses think fireworks are strange flowers blooming in the sky? Do horses think the northern lights are heaven for horses? Or a shower of love from the creator to all of us? Do horses love? I think they do. They're very loving guys. I used to live, uh, I went to go stay with a different family before, and they had horses. And they had very loving eyes. It was really neat. Yeah. Hope you can see. In dog rib, we say to lee for dog. Our word for horse is tlicho, which means big dog. When when did dogs grow into horses? When did horses shrink into dogs? Do horses call dogs little cousins? <laughs> when horses and dogs talk to each other, what do you think they say? And when they dream of each other, what do you think they see? Hi, big cuz. Hey, little cuz. <laughs> Let's do some investigating. Let's ask people, what's the most beautiful thing you know about horses? Let's ask my mom. Oh, let's ask my dad, my mom, my crazy brothers, Johnny and Jamie. Let's ask my buddy Mike, because my brother Rogers in Costa Rica. Let's ask my friend Heather and my friend George. Let's ask everyone I talked to today on January's coldest day of the year in my hometown of Fort Smith in the Northwest Territories. What's the most beautiful thing you know about horses? What do you say, partners? While dog rip Indians say, whole, cowboys say, let's go, let's go. Oh, look, there's his dad, his mom, Johnny, there's Jamie, there's his buddy Mike, there's Heather, and there's George. Okay. My dad is chopping wood. I ask him, what's the most beautiful thing you know about horses? The most beautiful thing about horses, he says, is they always know their way home. Wow, I say. Maybe our dog Holmes is part horse. She always finds her way back home after she breaks her chain and runs to play with her friends down the street. What is Holmes doing outside on a day so cold the snow is holding its breath, being teased by ravens? That's what. My mom is making cinnamon apple pies. Mom, I asked, what's the most beautiful thing you know about horses? Horses, she smiles. She runs her hands over the dough. They must have secrets. When they run, they seem to flow over the land. Sometimes I think they like to compete with the wind. They also have very beautiful eyes. I asked my brother Johnny, who looked at himself in the mirror, what's the most beautiful thing you know about horses? Their hair, he says, it's super cool. <laughs> Johnny locks himself in the bathroom for hours and hours just so he can comb his hair to perfection. He combs and combs and combs it free. If he were a horse, he'd have the most beautiful mane. It would shiver and ignite as he ran with his brothers, Roger, Jamie, and me. <gasps> there they are. In his imagination. If they were horses. I ask my brother Jamie, who always lets the fire go out in our wood stove because he's too busy watching the World Wrestling Federation, WWF. Jamie, what's the most beautiful thing you know about horses? They can run sideways, he says. What? I say. They can't run sideways, can they? Watch them sometime, he says, and goes back to watching WWF. I look behind us. Sure enough, the fire's gone out. No wonder I'm freezing. Where did Jamie get to see horses run sideways? I think of the dogs up and down our street. Holmes can't run sideways. Snowball can't run sideways. Bully can't run sideways. Can they? I wonder if Rocky can run sideways or Mr. Wigglebutts. <laughs> Those are dogs on our, our island. Okay. I would like to ask my brother Roger what's the most beautiful thing he knows about horses, but he's in Costa Rica on vacation. Maybe he's riding a horse and thinking of me. So I'll ask my buddy Mike in Roger's place. What's the most beautiful thing you know about horses? 
I don't like horses. Mike says, why? I ask. Because you feel great all day when you ride them, but after that you feel bullied. I guess that's a good thing about having dogs instead of horses. I never felt bullied in my entire life. Thanks, Holmes. I call my friend Heather in Yellowknife and ask her, what's the most beautiful thing you know about horses? Right away, she says, my favorite horse is the Appaloosa because an Appaloosa is a horse with freckles. I smile and think of my mom. I used to be shy when my freckles came out in the summertime until the day my mom told me that every freckle is a little kiss from God. Are Appaloosas shy behind the freckles too? Wow, it's a very beautiful horse. I talked to my friend George Littlechild. George is Cree. His people are horse people, just like my people are dog people. When I close my eyes and think of him, I see a blue horse running free. George, I say, what's the most beautiful thing you know about horses? Their breath, he answers. I love their breath. You can feel their breath move through their chest. They stare at you as they breathe. Their soul comes right out. The Cree word for horse is mistam, 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 oh my goodness. It means big dog, just like Klicho in the dog bird language. Isn't it neat how both languages call horses big dogs? Now that we've found out all those beautiful things about horses, what could we find out about all the animals of the earth if we called everybody in the world? Here are some of the secrets I learned the last time it was this called. I learned that an eagle has three shadows. I learned that frogs are keepers of rain. I learned that there's an animal on this earth who knows your secret name. Well, partners, puppies need lots of sleep, and so do I. But before I go for my nap, let me ask you, what is the most beautiful thing you know about horses? And what's the most beautiful thing you know about you? The I'm glad you were here today. Remember to be kind, work hard, be deadly, but not too deadly. See you next week again.